Okay, here's our chi-square test. Here's what we saw in the slideshow. We got 50 against, 24, and 17 maybe. They're reorganized a little bit, doesn't matter. For a grand total of 90. All right, so our expected frequency is going to be 90 divided by 3. We've got three cases, so that's going to be 30. So we can we can just simply type in 30, <coughs> or we could have we could have did 90 divided by 3. Doesn't matter. Then the next thing we um, do is we calculate the difference which is easy enough to do in Excel, which is the observed minus the expected. And then we can just drag these across to get those other values. And then we have to square this value. And we can do that several ways. Uh, we can do either equal sign B4 carrot 2, click enter, get 400, or we can do equal sign B4 times B, B4, and we'll still get the same thing, either way. And then we can drag that across to get our next value. Finally, we, we calculate the observed minus the expected squared divided by the expected. So again, equal sign observed minus expected squared divided by the expected frequency. Click OK. Drag that across. So we have our our chi-squares for each individual one and now we just need to add all those together using our sum function. And we can set these up in columns or rows, it doesn't matter. And then we get 20.6. Which is a little different than what we got over here. I don't quite understand that, but that's the way it rolls sometime, I guess. I've got my numbers in here right. So calculating probability, again, it's done using this the chi square dot 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 test. So chi square quest, chi square test, you select your actual range, which is your observed range. You do a comma, and you select your expected range, which is your expected frequencies, and then you hit OK. And then we've got a probability of 3.36, uh, negative exponent 0 0.05. So that's 0 .000. 0, 0, 0, 3, 3, 6, something like that. So uh, move that decimal place to the left 5 and you'll get the answer. So that's, um, that's chi-square in a nutshell. Pretty simple. Now, we don't always get our data nicely, nicely done like this. Usually we'll get it in something like this. Here's our preferences and our and our districts. Um, so uh, <clears throat> to calculate all that stuff in R is is just a snap. So we can just select our data, click copy, get dancing ants, come into our commander, import our data use, using our clipboard function. Call this um, chai testing. And click OK. So we have our we have our our data there. It looks like it came through just fine. Um, our 
Chi statistics is, is found in a summary statistic and it's actually called frequency distribution. So um, we, we select our preference, which is the one we're interested in, and then we select our chi goodness of fit for one variable only, select OK, and then we can, we can either enter our hypo, hy, hypothesized probabilities or we can um, simply use the default, which is really the thing to do. And then click OK. It does its magic. And we get our counts, 50, 23, and 17. Um, and um, then it gives us our chi-squared value of 20.6. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Two degrees of freedom. And then our probability of 3.36 exponent 5. So pretty simple to do it in, in um, um, in R. My opinion is a little easier. Particularly if you got several of them to do. Like if we want to go ahead and calculate the the, the district uh, to see if, if that didn't happen by chance either. You got a chi square of 8, 10.8 degrees of freedom 3 since there's four districts and a probability of 0 0.012. So, so that is chi-squares using Excel and R.